Hey guys, of all of you people who have dealt with LibreOffice Calc, I'll be clearing it step by step in this uh, video. Uh, so for sample, I'm actually using one of my uh, project topics. Uh, so I'll just go one by one and the first section is actually talking about uh, how to insert worksheets. This is the basics of Calc where you get to insert new worksheets, rename them, uh, choose a specific color for them and also consolidate uh, the data within them and uh, create some kind of uh, set references and hyperlinks as well. Okay, so there are 14 steps and I'll explain each of them one by one. Okay, so first of all, uh, go ahead and open your LibreOffice uh, Calc of whatever version you have, 6.27, it doesn't matter. And then uh, click on Calc Spreadsheet. Right, so once you're done entering the data, it's going to look something like this. The very first step, they're asking us to rename the worksheet as Student Profile. So by default, it's always Sheet 1. In order to rename it, just simply right click on this. And then from the context menu, select Rename Worksheet. So you get a dialog box and type in Student Profile. And once you're done, click OK. So you've got your uh, sheet name renamed, so that's first step done. Now the second step, they're asking us to insert three new worksheets and rename them as Periodic Test 1, Periodic Test 2 and Periodic Test 3. So there are many ways in which you can add a new worksheet. The most easiest way is to simply click on the Add button and you get a new worksheet. So another way you can actually enter sheets is by simply right clicking on this tab bar and there is something called Insert Sheet. So this opens up another dialog box. The good advantage of this is you can decide whether to insert the sheet before or after. So if you're inserting in massive numbers, like let's say you want to insert 10 or 20 sheets, it's going to be, it's not going to look very convenient to simply press on the add button every time. So it's better to go with this option. Anyway, so we right, uh, we right now require two more sheets because we already have one sheet here and two more sheets to that. And I want it after the current sheet. And then you can just click on OK. You've got all your four sheets. Now just rename each one of them. So once you've done renaming the sheets, you'll have now four sheets. One of them has data and the other three are uh, completely blank. In the third step and the fourth step, they're asking us to create a cell reference for periodic test 1 and periodic test 2 for the columns that we made in student profile using mouse and keyboard. Now there's a difference between creating a cell reference and copying the text. So if I want to simply just copy the text, I can uh, select the cells, press Ctrl plus C and I can just paste it here. So this is not exactly uh, the right way of creating cell reference. So cell reference means taking the cell reference or the cell address of this A1 of sheet 1 and then pasting it in periodic test 1. You can create a cell reference either by completely using the keyboard or you can do it com by completely using the mouse. But if I do it with the keyboard, you guys won't understand the basic concept. So first I'll do it with mouse and then I'll come back to keyboard. So in order to create a cell reference, now let's take the first column. I want to create a cell reference for row number 1. So go to this page and select any one of the cells where you want to place roll number so i want to place it in v2 so i'll select this and then press this equal to it's actually the name of this is formula i'll just call it equal to and then when you click that you'll automatically get this on your screen like on whichever cell is active then go back to the previous tab that is student profile and now select that cell for which you want to create the cell reference for now i want to create for roll number and the moment i select it you'll see a purple border highlighting it now simply press on the stick button accept and you'll be redirected to the student test uh, tab. Now you might be thinking that there's no much difference between copying the text and making the cell reference, but the moment you look in the input line, you can actually see the address of that cell. Student profile, that's the address of the first tab, and A1, A1 refers to the address of that cell from that respective sheet, and that has been displayed in periodic test one. And another advantage of cell references, if you have the column head, and if you drag this down, let's say till here, you will get all the values that are actually present in that table, that sheet. So you'll get all the values that are actually present here. Like for roll numbers, there are up to 13 roll numbers. And here, since I have that column head, I've got 13 roll numbers simply by dragging them all down. Right? So if I drag them even more down than 13, I'll get zero because here in this table, the input here is none. And that is why I get zero here. Right, so for periodic test 1, we are using mouse to create a cell reference. You can do this for everything else. Go back to periodic test. Now I want to create again another. Uh, press equal to sign, come back, select select first name and click on the tick mark. And the cell reference is created. So for creating with the keyboard, there's actually a particular pattern. So now if you want to create a cell reference using the keyboard, uh, this is how it goes. You have to press uh, any one active cell. I'll take B2 again. Press equal to and then 
press a dollar sign indicating that the address is absolute for this and then type the sheet name like we are taking that particular cell reference from student profile so within single quotes type student profile remember that this is case sensitive so if there are any uppercase letters or lowercase letters or a mix of them in your sheet name then also include it here so once you're done entering the name of that sheet you'll have to next enter that particular cell so in this case you don't have to keep this part absolute so you can keep it relative so for that you'll have to keep a full stop and then enter that particular cell for me roll number is an a1 so you can just enter a1 this is not case sensitive you don't have to keep it as capital a you can keep it small and then when you press enter you get roll number so you'll have to do that for the other ones as well so i'll do this one more time so that's very clear to you guys equal to and then dollar sign to include absolute um, reference and then in, within single quotes type the name of that sheet for me it's student profile and then that particular cell so now i've done with a1 the next one will be b1 and you'll get your first name so i've got all of them and it works the same way you can just drag it down until 14 i get yeah uh, one more step and then you get all the data as it is so that's done with uh, how to create a cell reference using keyboard and how to create a cell reference using mouse. So in the case of periodic test 3, they're saying that we can create a reference for roll number and all the other columns using our own wish. Like we don't have to stick to keyboard or mouse, we can use both of them. So in this case, I'll use the best possibilities. Select equal to from your keyboard, go here and uh, select roll number and then click enter from your keyboard. Same way, equal to then go back redirect back to that page first name enter and you can do this with the rest of the columns in any way you want sixth step they're asking us to apply some kind of color for all of them so for the case of student profile they're asking for red so in order to apply color to any sheet first select that sheet and then right click it and then click on tab color so this will open up to another dialog box now you can select anyone uh, you want they've asked me for red so i'm taking that and then you click OK. So you can see that this particular tab has changed. Right, so this particular tab is now colored to red. Same way, there are still for periodic test 1. So again, go to tab and then green and then OK. For periodic test 2, there was blue. So tab color once again and this time blue. And for periodic test 3, there was yellow. So choose yellow. And this way, you've got all your tabs of different, different colors just the way they're mentioned. So sixth step is done. Now the seventh step, they're asking us to enter the marks of different subjects in the worksheets, right? So they want us to add another column. So, right, so just use your sense, this is a student profile. So obviously there's no marks here, but in periodic test one, two, and three, there's definitely going to be marks, right? So I'm gonna create another separate column called marks, and you can add anything for your wish. Right now I'm thinking that the test is going to be out of 100 marks, so I'm going to judge everyone based on that. Alright, so once you're done with the marks of one test, you can go to the other one and you can do the same for all of them. So this way you can create a separate column and enter data into it. Do the same for the periodic test 2 and for the periodic test 3 sheets as well. Now in the next step, they're asking us to delete uh, the worksheet periodic test 3. Click on that worksheet and then right click it. And then you've got many options just click on delete sheet so it'll give you a confirmation box something like this and if you're sure you can go ahead and click yes so our periodic test 3 is deleted ninth step they're asking us to insert a new worksheet and rename it as consolidated data so the easiest way to insert when it's just a single worksheet just simply click on the add button and then you can further rename this as consolidated sheet so they're asking us to create different references for student profile and marks and consolidate the data. So this sheet is basically going to contain the total marks of all the students in periodic test 1 and periodic test 2. So in this case, I want the roll number and I also want the first name, but I don't want date of birth and father's name to be displayed in the consolidated sheet. And also in the consolidated sheet, I want a consolidation of marks. Uh, of what they scored in periodic test 1 and periodic test 2. So for doing this, right, so for doing this, we'll start with the cell reference. I'm using mouse because I'm more used to it. Now, I just don't want to create a cell reference, but I also want to consolidate the data of marks of periodic test 1 and periodic test 2. All right, so let's enter a separate column called marks. And now within this tab, I want all the marks of the students, right? So first, let's let me just track this so I can get all the names. 
along with that roll numbers. So use the sum function that goes like equal to and then you have to write sum right so you can actually see the options actually mentioned here and then keep the curve brackets on and you can actually see that uh, LibreOffice Calc is giving you directions here they're asking you to write the cell reference for one and then comma cell reference two comma cell reference three and that's how you have to go right so in order to select uh, go to that particular worksheet now the first periodic test one and I want this mark and then I'm going to go back to my consolidated sheet now you can actually see that uh, this particular thing has already appeared and what I want to do is I want to click on comma and then next part that is periodic test 2 and once again I want to I want this marks and even that is there so I'll close the brackets and click on enter so I've got a consolidated mark for both uh, periodic test 1 and periodic test 2 now I don't have to do it for everything because it's lengthy I can just simply use the order sum feature and I'll have the marks consolidated for everyone so this is how you consolidate data quickly and the next step they're asking us to move the worksheet to the end of the works workbook so even this is kind of easy like let's suppose if consolidated sheet was in the beginning but you wanted it to appear in the end so a simple way to do this is just simply click on it and hold your mouse and hover it to wherever you want it you can see some small arrow marks indicating that they are going to place it here or they're going to place it to the left and once you release the mouse it will exactly drop it in that location Right, so in the next step, they're asking us to insert a new worksheet at the beginning. Simply click on the add button and then you can take sheet 5, hover it and get it uh, before student profile and you have it at the beginning. Now, in the 13th step, they're asking us to create a hyperlink to move to a particular worksheet from a newly inserted worksheet. So, they've given us some freedom right now. So, I want to create a hyperlink to move from new sheet to consolidated sheet where the mark distribution is there. Go to new sheet, types and text for which you want to create the hyperlink. Right, so I want to make a hyperlink out of this text. So just select the text and you have one option here called insert hyperlink. This is present within LibreOffice Calc. Or if you don't find this option, another thing that you can do is control plus K. So this opens up a hyperlink dialog box. And in this dialog box, you can get a hyperlink either from the internet, through a mail, or within the existing document or documents. Or you can completely make a new document presentation drawing and you can get a hyperlink from that. So in our case we are doing it from an existing document so it's within the document see in case if it's another document you can go ahead and browse here and find that particular document but for us it's within the document and in certain sheet so I'm going to go for target in document just click here and then you will see the different sheets I want to create a target for consolidated sheet right so if I click on apply I get that and this hyperlink will appear and will be displayed using this text now if I just click on OK you can see that this uh, particular thing has now become a hyperlink now you can't simply open up a hyperlink if I just click on this it will move into edit option if you want to move to the hyperlink you'll have to click on control and then click on the hyperlink so hold control on your keyboard and then click you'll see that the hyperlink will redirect you back to the consolidated sheet right so we have one last step that is delete the hyperlink for the consolidated worksheet now we have created a uh, hyperlink but let's assume that you have created a wrong hyperlink or you found that this hyperlink is no more in use and you want to delete it so if you want to delete this hyperlink simply right click on it and within this options there's something called remove hyperlink you can edit it you can open it and you can also remove it right so if you click remove you can see that this is back to normal right so the text is back to normal and this is no more a hyperlink Right, so to give you guys a quick summary, we have learned some of the basic functions that are uh, performed in Calc. Uh, this includes redeeming worksheets, coloring worksheets, and uh, adding a lot of worksheets in bulk. We have learned that as well. And then we have learned about cell references and creating hyperlinks and how to delete them as well. So I really hope that you found this video useful. Thank you.